I'm going to practice decision making by doing Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you're new to this game, this is a great exercise to test yourself and train yourself to see the potential in a drawn hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to roll these dice just to randomize which seat we're in. I rolled a six, so we're going to be non-dealer. Player two. I will get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. There's our mock Charleston. Let's see what we can do with these tiles. For these tiles, we have a single dragon, single wind. We have a pair of eights and a pair of nines. Eight, nine are consecutive. So I think consecutive run. I would try for consecutive run. Anytime I play consecutive run, I try to gather tiles four numbers in a range. We don't have any sixes, so ending in nine is a little bit limiting. Let's keep the fives. There is a quint actually that is in a four number range. We could always sacrifice the nines if we have to. Let's pass those three and see what happens. We got an eight and a nine. That worked out nicely. Eight, nine. We do have three tiles to pass, but I think five is a little too far of a range. I think I would give it up. We might even be able to play a pair hand. Eight, nine, eight, nine. If we can get a red dragon and flowers. The pair hand I'm thinking of is the second from the bottom. Pair of flowers. 8-9 with the matching dragon. 8-9 matching dragon. We got a few gaps. So I would say that's a long shot. Let's pass these three and see what we get next. 7. I would keep everything in a four number range. So I would keep that 6. We have two tiles to pass. We have 6 through 9 and a dragon. I think this six, even though it isn't in a range of four numbers, because of where our multiples are and we have no seven dot, I think I would give it up. Eight, nine, eight, eight, nine. Let's give up the six. No keepers. Let's pass these three. Oh, we got a flower. That's nice. Maybe we could play that pair hand. Eight, nine. Eight, nine dragon. Eight, nine. Or we could play seven, eight, nine. There's a one suit option. The one suit option would be the third hand down. Pair of flowers. Kongs of seven, eight, nine. We could maybe do the second from the bottom under consecutive run. Four flowers, eight, nine, pair, pung, eight, nine, pair, pung. Let's give up these three. No keepers. And we have a six dot, eight, nine. I think I would want to keep my options open. Let's pass the white dragon. I try to limit how often I pass a white dragon, but we need some help here. So here we have five, six. There are several hands we could play with eight, nine, or seven, eight, nine even. Let's pass these three for optional cross. 
I don't think we're going to get anything in here. No red dragon went around. We got a seven and we got the eight back. I would hold every six through nine and just see what comes in, including that potential pair hand. So I would discard the two and just build around the eight, nine. If I had to pick a hand, I'd probably play either the third hand down in one suit or second from the bottom, both under consecutive run, with a long shot for the pair hand and dragons. But since we have a gap, I would say that would be a long shot. If you would have done something different with these tiles, write it in the comment section. There is a slight chance too for the concealed hand, seven, eight, nine, with pungs of eights, but we'd have to throw away. Oh, we could do seven, eight, nine with eights, seven, eight, nine with eights. That's a possibility too. That's why I would just gather. Gather till you run out of discards. I think that I'd probably discard the six bam next. Maybe the six and then the two and focus on seven through nine. All right, if you would have done something different, write in the comment section below what you would do with these tiles. Let's go on to the next one. This time, let's say we're in North Seat, since I rolled an eight. North Seat, we're non-dealer, so I will get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston. Okay, with these tiles, white dragon, pair of east, north, one, two, one, two, three, four, two. You know what we could do? We could play a year hand. Let's give up the east and go for a year hand. All these tiles we can use for a year hand, including the big hand. Under the year category, we'd have to sacrifice a joker for it. But I'd be willing to do that, would you? Let's pass these three. Normally I build around the multiple, but if I have the chance to play the big year hand, I'll go for it. We got a flower. And we have tiles we can pass. So here we have 219, 212. Let's give up those and try for the big year hand. Let's pass these three. We got a one and we have three tiles we can pass. Let's break this up though. I don't like passing two wins together with news on the card. We got a nine, two, one, nine. We have a two, but we already have a two. We have tiles we can pass. No keepers. We got a flower. We already have a two. We have two tiles to pass. We're a little bit I think uh, hindered here by this joker because we're playing a pair hand. We're going to pass one blind. No keepers. Now we could do the optional cross. Anytime somebody passes blind on the last right, consider whether or not you want to pass with them for optional cross. In this case, we have two tiles. So we could be either 
in between hands or narrowing in on a hand. So just consider those situations and decide if you want to pass. I'm going to pass one blind and we'll agree. No keepers, but we did get the north. So I would probably keep the north and try for the big year hand. One discard. We need a white dragon and a one and a nine crack. Three discards for the big year hand. Let me know what you thought about that and if you would have pushed for the big year hand. We'll do this one more time. I rolled a five, so we're going to be east or the dealer. We'll get 14 tiles this time. One east, pair twos, pair threes. We should do something consecutive using these twos and threes. We have four tiles to pass, all two, three, four here. We don't have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. Two, three, two, three, two, four. Let's pass these three. We got a four. And now we have like numbers. That's almost as bad as passing a pair. So instead of doing that, I would whittle down my options and break that up. So here we have two, three, four in mixed suits. We could do two, three, two, three, second hand from the bottom, sacrifice the fours maybe. We have two jokers, no flowers. There are actually three hands that use flowers in the consecutive run category. One of them has a mixed suit option, two, three, four. Let's give up the two and pass those three. We got a four, two, three, four, two, three, four, we have tiles we can pass, so we really don't have to pick a hand. We have a two, two, three, four, two, three, four. We're on, we did right across left. We're on second left. I would not stop the Charleston. I would whittle down my options and continue. So we could play two, three, two, three. Second hand down, use these for the flowers. We need four flowers for that hand, second from the bottom, in which case we wouldn't need the four. The other thing we could maybe do if we can get a flower is play two, three, four mixed suit Kongs, third hand down. We could do two, three, four, and then threes, but we'd have to throw away a pair of fours. I think I'd rather Discard the four dot. We got a four crack. Here's a four bam, five bam. We have all consecutive numbers here. I think what I would do here to leverage these multiples, we have a pung of twos and a pung of fours, pair of threes. I think I would try four, two, three, four mixed suits. Surely we can draw one flower to get ready. There's one. So we have three tiles we can pass. No keepers there. I would not pass a pair though. 
pair of Wes, I would pass two. No keepers. Three discards, and we are set. Actually, we don't even need to use all of them necessarily. We can Kong, Kong, and be ready on a flower. Let's see. So I would discard probably the West first and then these. And we just need to Kong and then get another flower. Two, three, four mixed soup Kongs. That would be the third hand down on the right. When I get my drawn hand, nine times out of 10, I build around multiples. But sometimes, if you have the potential for a pair hand, or maybe even the big hand, the big ear hand, I'd sacrifice a joker and go for it. I believe that second random pull, we had a joker and a pair of east. Sacrifice the East, discard the Joker, go for that big ear hand. I believe we were three away. That is a pretty good start after the Charleston. Three away from a pair hand, the big hand on the card. I would say that it's worth the sacrifice. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell after you subscribe. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston modeling for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.